So next is bearing. So as the name itself will tell you, it has to bear the load. So it will allow the um, member to move or to rotate as well as it has to take the load. So it is a machine member which supports, guides, guide and restrain rotating moving elements. So especially in case of shafts, shafts are supported by bearings and it is allowed to rotate a stationary member which carry the load so it is a stationary member bearing will not be rotating whereas the shaft is rotating so it is a machine part which supports the moving element and confines its motion so it is allowing the shaft to rotate so Usually there is a friction and other things uh, during in this uh, ba bearing so that has to be overcome by using a hardened uh, steel balls or a rolling member or a uh, what you call roller bearings. So it is a part of the shaft which is supported by the bearing we call it as a journal. Types of bearings in the figure you can see this in the sh slide. Uh, bearing has two types sliding and roller rolling type of bearings. Under sliding, you have full bear, journal bearing, partial thrust, slider, hydrostatic. Under rolling, we have ball bearing, roller bearing. Under ball bearing, we have simple and deep groove. Roller type, we have straight and taper kind of two types of bearing that is sliding and roller so under sliding it is hydrodynamically lubricated bearing as we know the fluid film will be maintained next is bearing with boundary lubrication and extreme boundary lubrication and hydrostatic lubrications so these are the four types that we have seen under sliding type of bearings coming to the rolling type of bearings we have ball bearings, roller bearings, a needle roller type of bearings. So these are the types under sliding and rolling type. We have discussed in the journal part. So it is a part of the shaft which supports the bearing at right angles to the axis of the bearing. So part of the shaft we call it as a journal. So the portion of the shaft resting on the sleeve is called the journal. So example of journal bearings, solid, bushed and pedestal bearings. Solid bearing is a simple type of journal bearing. It is inserted between the, uh, inserted in a uh, rotating shaft to support the rotating shafts. So, so it, has a, uh, it has a oil hole and a drilled hole oil hole for uh, lub for lubrication and drilled hole for for uh, fixing it to the frame or the foundation so it, it it does not have any adjustment for the wear and tear to take care so so there will be usually a wear and tear between the shaft and the solid bearing so once it is worn out it has to be replaced with the new bearing so it does not that much preferred as far as the other bearings are concerned it's where you can reuse the same bearing so, so it is used for shaft with the light loads and rotating at moderate speeds as the name itself will tell you, you have a bush here, 
right it is also a kind of a solid bearing but you have a bushed bearing so bush can be replaced right, during the wear wear and tear so that is an advantage instead of replacing the whole uh, bearing you just replace with the uh, bush that is provided so that is fixed by a grub screw you can see there and it is fixed to the frame as usual like in the solid bearing so pedestal or plumber block is advanced type of uh, pushed bearing where you have cap and a pedestal which is which fixes the upper and lower bush so during the wear and tear you can replace the bush and fix it with the new one so it is advanced to advanced version of the the bearing where you just have to replace the upper and lower bush in case of uh, um, wear and tear over a period of time type is footstep bearing i can see in the figure where you have a vertical shaft okay so at the end of the vertical shaft you have this kind of footstep bearing support which will allow the shaft to rotate and take the load or the thrust so it has a iron block which is fitted with the gun metal bush okay and this bush is prevented uh rotating along with the um, shaft by providing a snug or a type of pin at us at its neck okay and this shaft vertical shaft rests on a concave type hardened steel disc which is fixed to the frame through a pin so so this disc is prevented from rotating along with the shaft by this pin at the bottom so next is a collar bearing so it is like a collar as you can see in the figure single collar and multi collar so it will avoid the uh, shaft to move along the axis so it will not allow the shaft to move along the axis um so you have end thrust collar or in between or multi collar type of bearing so it will uh, stop the shaft moving along the axis so this is one of the advantage in case of uh, bearings so next type is ball and roller contact type of bearings so you have a hard steel ball in the in case of ball bearing so there will be a, a usually a point contact in the ball bearings and in the roller kind you have rollers so flat and roller hard steel roller which maintains the contact between the outer ring and the inner ring of the bearing so so there is a, there will be a retainer for this rollers uh, one more type of roller is a taper kind tapered uh, roller bearing again it is at the end of the shaft to maintain the thrust of the rotating shaft let's see what are the advantages of sliding contact bearing so we all know sliding contact works under hydrodynamic or hydrostatic lubrications so it, it requires a fluid or nothing but a lubricant so they can, they have to be operated at high speed and it has to have a high radial loads it can take high radial loads so it can withstand shock and vibration since it is using a fluid as a media so next is a noiseless operation so there is no metal to metal contact between the shaft and the bearing so that is an advantage in case of sliding contact bearing what are the disadvantages so obviously you need to maintain a high pressure fluid so you need to maintain the pressure of the fluid 
so there will be friction loss during the starting and uh, you need to maintain the length of the bearing as well so there will be excessive consumption of the lubricant and uh, high maintenance because it is a uh, high pressure fluid that need to be needs to be replaced over a period of time so these are the advantage and disadvantages of a sliding contact bearing coming to the advantages of rolling contact so uh, obviously it will be having a a ball bearing and a roller bearing so low starting and low running friction in this case because it is a point contact and a surface contact in in uh, ball bearing and roller bearings respectively it can carry both radial as well as thrust loads as we can see in the other cases where thrust uh, bearings we have and third one is momentary overloads can be carried without failure so momentary load for a few fraction of seconds or a minute the load can be carried which is not possible in case of sliding contact bearing shaft alignment is more accurate than in the sliding bearing so these are very highly precision machined uh, ball and roller bearings so there will be high accurate alignment of the shaft coming to the disadvantages obviously there is a metal to metal contact so high noise at high speeds low resistance to shock loads initial cost will be very high because it is all precision product finite life due to wear and tear or the fatigue of the machine members 